All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to need a lot of brass, so let's go ahead and get started on that. It's going to be great. All right, guys, so last episode we went ahead and set this thing up. I've done a little bit of work here off camera, just playing with some gear ratios, as you can see. Big to little, little to big, little to little. We just make it really fast so it can smash up some stuff very quickly for us here. Uh, which I'm, uh, but unfortunately, we are limited to only being able to use one of these machines right now. Uh, if we look, how do we place it there again? Yes, like that. Um, we can only use one, otherwise it will come to a screeching halt. Uh, none of it will work. Got a little blaze down there, we're mixing up. We made a bunch of brass uh, because we're gonna need a lot of it today. Um, because the, the thing we wanna get into is a cobblestone generator and a um, the the cog the the grind wheels these guys the crushing wheel I always get the name wrong. Uh, so in order to do that, we need to go ahead and craft up 21 of these mechanical users, and we need quite a bit of brass for these guys. Now we did do it way overkill when it comes to how much brass we actually need, um, so we don't really have to worry about that too much. So let's see, we're gonna need a little bit more wood. Let's grab some of. Uh, we're gonna grab some of this and the brass. Oh, we can just use the scrapping table. Okay. So yes, we need. The brass casing, I believe. Oh, that's right. I made a bunch of this stuff already. Well, we have more brass casings than we need, which is a, a good thing. Uh, so, mechanical crafter here. We're gonna need a lot of these electron tubes. Uh, I've got some of those. All right, so we need seven. So we need six of these, so we need one more, actually. So let's go ahead and make that real quick. I still love this. You just throw it on the ground, take your sandpaper, and you eat it. I mean, you sand it. So yeah, love that. So let's go ahead. I really need to make a like, box designated just for like the redstone. All right, so redstone torch, and then iron nugget, and then we can make our sixth electron tube. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna need some more cogwheels. So let's take some wood. Um, and we'll make some buttons like that. We're gonna push some buttons. Right, so that's 16. I think that's more than enough. We're gonna find out real quick here. Yes, perfect. All right, so we've got the 21 mechanical crafters that we need. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and set it up on sound. Oh, it might be a drowned in there. It's like, what sound was that? Um, so let's go ahead. I've never set one of these up before, so we're doing it together. Uh, how is this made? Three, okay. So three at the bottom. Now if we place it like this, okay. Ouch. And so then we place these down and these down. Yeah, okay. So now we're gonna need another, well, we might be able to make it work with these little guys. That's not what I had in mind. There's a way to turn it without, I forget. I forgot, let me, give me a second. We need a big boy. Okay, so there should be a way to, ma yeah, like that. Um, How does one do that though? So we need to definitely get it to there, maybe. Yes, like that. Oh! So let's go ahead and turn this guy. What's 80 times 21? Oh, 1600. So we almost need to make quite a few more of these. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and make some more of these guys. That should be easy, right? <laughs> All right, so I don't know how many we actually want, but we're gonna put some more. So let's get, oh, I don't have a bucket. All right, so we're gonna place these guys like this. All right, so we're gonna need a little bit of dirt. Kind of funnel the water, you know what I mean? Feels like, wow, feels like we're doing episode one all over again. 
And we have this giant building here. By the way, this is covering up the, the zombie spawner, in case you guys were wondering. Um, I'm actually going to bring these guys out all the way... Hey, look at that! It worked! <laughs> uh, just throwing more water mills is the key. Okay, so we've got enough of these guys now. I'm not gonna worry about over there because this is enough to run this. But these guys are craftable, I believe. So let's go ahead and try to make a cog... Uh, the crushing wheel, that's the word. Alright, so what we're gonna need is a lot of the andesite alloys. Looks like stone of some sort and then some wood and then just yeah a bunch of the andesite ingots or alloy okay so let's grab i believe it was just planks so we're gonna take some of these guys like a so and then just to be safe we'll take the andesite and let's see how that works i've never used this before so i'm super duper excited we got you in the middle, and then one, two, three, four. And then we surround it like this. Oh, I see. We need a wrench. Hang on, I'm going to try something. Um, nope, well, okay, I think this is going to work. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Uh, so what we're going to want to go ahead and do, again, middle, boom, 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 boom. What do I do now? <laughs> I thought that was going to work. Oh, I get it. Um, let's see, a depot. Let's go ahead and make that. Um, andesite casing. Can we create that here? What are we missing for the andesite casing? Ah, a piece of wood. Okay. All right, there we go, and then the depot, bam. Okay, so this is the output, which is good. Uh, we can also change the, for the press, we can turn it into this block as well. Uh, we're gonna try, put it here maybe. That was it. Perfect. Oh, that gave us two crushing wheels, amazing. Okay, okay. So then I believe you just you put it on something like this. Yeah. Mmm. And then what you can do is we get a little guy. We place him here. Um, like this maybe. Whoops, not that guy. Okay, so he needs to be a block closer. Which means we'll probably need a bigger dude. Like that. And then we can put a small... That's a piece of dirt. Now those are going the same way. Ah, I got an idea. All right, so then we go like this. Then we place the bigger dude. No. Okay, so anyway, it's working. It's spinning. It's great. It's a great time. We're going to be able to crush things now. Um... <laughs> that looked goofy as heck.
Well, they're in the right spot. Okay, so the best way I believe that we can do this is to just simply do that. Yep, and now both of these are going like that. Perfect. All right, so this will allow us to turn cobblestone into gravel. Um, for one, it's been very difficult for me to find gravel, so I'm really excited about that. And two, um, it'll be great for uh, eventually getting the, into the process of creating some farms that we're going to be making here pretty soon. Um, so yeah, if we throw it like this. Yep, there we go. I wonder how much damage it does. Alright, so we're going to see how much damage it does. Here we go. Oh, that's going to kill me. <laughs> well. <laughs> you are on a roll. And then I was crushed between... <laughs> Look at this. You're on a roll. And then I was processed by crushing wheels. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Okay, so I need a pickaxe here because we do need to go ahead and mine um, one of the crushing wheels real quick. So let's go over items. But it, it does a lot of damage. So it might not be a bad idea to make one of those into a, uh, like a processing thing Oop, for mobs. So, but yeah, those are working fantastically. Uh, cosmetic armor, perfect. Okay. Where do all my tools go? It didn't process all of my tools, did it? Oh, I'm gonna be really sad because that boomerang was sweet. Let's see what happens. Yeah, looks like it, uh, it destroyed my tools. That's a bummer. Okay, on to the mining drill. Okay, so I do have a few extra pairs of tools over here. You even got a fortune pickaxe, and I, I left my good fortune pickaxe over here. So it's not too much of a, a setback to lose our materials. Uh, so temporarily, I'll just be using probably some iron ones, uh, which is kind of silly, but uh, I'll just go over to the zombie farm, get a bunch of levels, and we'll be, we'll be back to normal. We still got 51 diamonds left. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the mechanical drill. Uh, we're gonna need some iron, it looks like, and we're gonna be setting up a cobblestone generator. Um, that's gonna go pretty close to the grind, the, the grind wheel. Okay, so I actually think I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right here. Uh, this should give us a decent mining speed. Now we're gonna be, actually, no, we need to move this. Uh, we need to create a space, so... We can create a cobblestone generator. And I don't want to do it there. I'd much rather do it somewhere else. Okay, so we're going to temporarily break these guys. We're going to steal these back. Um, that's good for nothing right now. It's not doing anything. Okay, that's right. We need to put this here and then the smaller one. Whoops. Where did that just... Oh, got placed here. Okay, so this is where the mining drill is going to go. We got some pretty good speed going. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and make a cobblestone generator right in front of it. Okay, so... Um, don't worry, this is really temporary. I'm sitting here questioning if I can make a cobblestone generator. <laughs> like, ah, oh, do I know how to do this? Quick answer is yes, I do. I think. Otherwise, I'm gonna have some obsidian that I'm gonna need to mine. Okay, yeah. So water's gonna go here, pours down into there, and the lava's gonna flow. That way, there's no chance of it getting touched by the water. Okay, so we do have a couple of buckets here. I'm gonna go grab some lava real quick. 
Uh, and I will be right back. Okay, so we got the water and the lava. Um, so let's go ahead. Make sure we place these in the right orientation. That would really suck. There we go. And then... I built this one, two, over. Okay, that should still be fine. Yeah. Cobblestone! Yay! All right, so simply just putting a uh, hopper underneath there because if you look really closely, um, the cobblestone actually gets, it, it's placed right above it. So like it doesn't shoot off. The only reason why it shoots off like that is because when this block comes back, the cobblestone goes, well, I gotta get out of here and jumps out. As long as we have this set up, we will be collecting every piece of cobblestone uh, that we can get. So the cool thing is we put this into the, the grind wheels, uh, the crushing wheels, and let's see here, uh, uses, let's look at those grind wheels. Bam, we get gravel. Uses for gravel. Right, well, let's see here. We can get, you know, sand and even clay out of this if we choose to use it for that. Uh, we can throw it through a bulk washer and get iron nuggets possibly out of it. So we just got to use the, the washing machine and there's a 12% chance for our nuggets. So an iron farm, not really a fast one, but if we have a whole bunch of cobblestone getting processed at the same time, say we have five or six of these going and you know, each of these is six, 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 six or seven, 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 seven. It's going to go a lot quicker. Um, and so that is what we're going to be putting over here uh, because there is actually a way to create gold as well. Um, so if we go like this, so there is a recipe. If you wash red sand, you get a chance of three gold nuggets. You can also wash uh, soul sand, but then red sand, uh, you get it from crushing granite or crushing terracotta. Okay, so we get the, you know, the red sand from the terracotta, uh, but to get the terracotta, you know, we make the clay, craft up the clay, and we get that from uh, gravel. So there's a 5% chance of getting the clay balls, um, or you can just bulk wash it, which would be the best way to do it. So we just get a whole bunch of these guys going from the sand, so you just, we just crush the sand again, and then we can make the, go the, the gold and iron farms. So we can even set up auto crafting so that it, it just automatically combines them up together for us. But yeah, this is what's gonna go here. We're gonna put all of the cobblestone generators here. We're gonna have like a big wall here and then on this side as well. And then all of the items are gonna be pumped through a little area over the top here. We're gonna have this arch that goes underneath it that you'll be able to walk through. And this will be the processing area for the uh, gold and iron. I don't know if we're gonna put a big door here. I was thinking about putting like a big garage looking door, but that doesn't really go well with the build style that we've chosen. So we might just make it look like a really big like factory. So uh, very cool. Let me see how much time we got rest left for the rest of the video, geez. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go ahead and go AFK at the zombie farm. We gotta go ahead and resupply uh, and get some, get get the, the good tools back. Uh, but guys, down in the description, there is a link to my Twitch. We're going to be streaming from this place quite a bit. I'm gonna be putting in the pathways and we're probably gonna be building that on stream as well. But anyways, the next episode, we're going to be making a windmill. So it's gonna require a sheep farm because we're gonna need wool. Uh, and then that will allow us to start the power for this area. And then we'll be able to build a tree farm. Uh, tree farm is going to be super cool, but we're going to need a lot of wood for this area. That's why we need it. And then we're also getting the, the cobble over there, which, by the way, we can actually make this even faster if we wanted to. Because with all of these guys going at full speed, we can handle a much higher stress unit for that. So I might think about making that or just setting up a second one. Uh, but yeah, so there's a, a link on your, or not a link, but a uh, playlist on your screen right now. Go ahead and click that. It's going to take you to the next, ep the, the next episode. It's going to be great.